Night Swim Movie Review. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, it's Night Swim, your annual January horror movie from the folks at Bloom House. Night Swim occupies the same spot on the calendar that M3 Gan held a year ago. And while nothing could ever possibly reach that film's gonzo heights or cultural significance, everyone seems fully aware of the supremely silly premise they've signed up for here. It's about a pool, that eats people. Producers Jason Bloom and James Wan, both horror titans, once again show they know how to freak audiences out while maintaining a sly sense of humor. We've seen inanimate objects get anthropomorphized for thrills and chills before in the form of rubber, about a homicidal tire, and in fabric, about a homicidal dress. But a pool just seems so relaxing, so luxurious, that the idea of it turning on the very people who seek its soothing embrace provides an inspired twist. The fact that the pool in question is so aggressively bland is also a nice touch. This is not some mid-century, kidney-shaped oasis. Nor is it a modern-day monstrosity with built-in slides, a swim-up bar and a grotto. This is a concrete, rectangular hole in the ground, the kind of pool you probably spent long, summer days playing Marco Polo in if you grew up in Southern California in the 1970s. Writer-director Bryce McGuire toys with the notion of an ancient and insatiable evil lurking below the surface of banal suburbia in expanding the short he made with Rod Blackhurst into his debut feature. That's not a novel idea, it's the stuff of Stephen King and David Lynch. But McGuire establishes enough tension off the top and makes effective use of sound design and camera angles to create a lingering, unsettling mood. A flashback to 1992 reveals a pigtailed, tween girl getting gobbled up by the pool when she reaches out at night to retrieve an elusive toy boat. Cut to the present day, as a family is about to move into that same house with a pool that's crumbling from decades of neglect. Early on, McGuire makes some striking choices with upside-down shots and reflections, including the bright image of clouds and blue sky shining on the leaf-strewn pool cover. This place may seem inviting, he seems to be saying, but it's unreliable. The steady gurgling and belching of the filter provide an unsettling rhythm, and the groan of the diving board suggests further dangers to come. The Waller family finds the cleanup prospect daunting at first, but they're also optimistic about the stability and healing they hope this home outside the Twin Cities will bring. Ray Waller, Wyatt Russell, is a former Major League Baseball great whose multiple sclerosis diagnosis has forced him to retire from the game that's long defined him. His wife, Eve, the Banshees of Inisher and Oscar nominee Carrie Condon, looks forward to laying down roots after moving the family from city to city for so many years. Teenage daughter Izzy, Amelie Hoferl, has gotten better at fitting in by maintaining an attitude of cool detachment, but younger brother Elliot, Gavin Warren, a shy, scrawny kid, hasn't been as successful. <laughs>